What is going on, SHA Army? We're back for another episode of How Would That Superhero Train. Today, we're doing another one of Coach Derek's favorite superheroes, and actually, he's a super villain. This is Deathstroke. I love that we're doing this one because we just did Moon Knight last week, which was a Marvel character, so we normally do Marvel DC, Marvel DC, but Coach Derek specifically asked for Moon Knight for a Halloween week, so now he suggested jumping over to Deathstroke because that's another workout that he specifically programmed, so I'm really excited to share three Deathstroke routines, one character routine from Coach Derek, one for Manu Bennett, and one for Joe Manganiello probably butchered that name but anyways if you guys don't know what this is yet this is a video where I break down a superhero's abilities and powers and anything they have that would help us build a routine and talk about how they would specifically train in real life if they were human living in the real world doesn't matter if they have powers or not this is how they would do it if they needed to build up to their characters abilities or powers and then we're gonna compare and contrast to some of the celebrities that we've seen I've already named those I'm going to be using the knowledge that I've gained by researching over 200 celeb workout routines, over 100 character workout routines, and building them for Superhero Jack on the site. Hopefully I'm able to add in some cool clips and images and stuff that'll make this worthwhile and you don't have to just see my ugly mug the entire time. Uh, quick announcement before we get going. Really, really quick, and then I'll get right into it. First and foremost, Blood of Elves will be done by the next video, and a review is up. This is the book club book for the month. I'm a little behind because the bodyweight book released over the weekend, like I said, and uh, put that live in the next couple days. My next book is going to be Air of Fire, which I did Crown of Midnight as my last review, so this will be next. It's not the book club book, but it will be the next review I'm doing if you guys want to stick with me. And really, that's it. I don't have a monster. I apologize, so we're not cracking that, but I do have this reusable Starbucks cup that I'm not affiliated with at all, that I will cheers the screen with homemade Thanksgiving blend coffee. Alright, another thing that I really like about the fact that we're doing Deathstroke this week is that we're staying in that same range of characters that we've seen like Captain America, Black Panther, even Moon Knight, uh, Batman, where these characters have this functional strength and this super strength or regular strength or this overall strength that is mixed very well with their functional abilities whether it's parkour or mixed martial arts or just being able to move and have this gymnastic ability intertwined with their endurance training and their interval training or what I would feel is that type of training in order to get them to that level and what I mean by this is that they're very functional it's not just like um, the Hulk where I'm gonna tell you to train like powerlifting or, or if you watch that video how I said there this is an awesome mixture of uh, functional strength agility um, endurance training and just overall everything that you combine into one program that you normally wouldn't see probably because you don't typically have people training for all of these things at once but these heroes have it all so I really really like that we're able to put it all together and work on a schedule that you could hit every single thing that would bring you to that superhero level because that's what Superhero Jack is all about so before I get too far ahead of myself and give everything away for this program I would like to go through some stats for Deathstroke Deathstroke comes in at 6 foot 5, 225 pounds, and his real name is Slade Wilson. His abilities, stated by DC's website, is that he has exceptional martial arts skills, combat strategy, durability, enhanced strength and speed, he's a weapons expert, he has superhuman agility, and he's a master swordsman. But, I also want to add that they say behind his heightened speed, strength, and senses, Deathstroke's greatest asset comes from his incredibly high intelligence which makes him a master strategist and tactician so I'm gonna get that right out of the way and tell you right now I'm not going to be able to make you a genius or an expert strategist so if you're looking to go out there like Batman and jump from uh, wall to wall and know exactly where to go and what to do at the perfect moment it's not gonna happen in this one you're gonna need another video to raise your IQ and study some strategy we're talking about the training here but that is something that's awesome about Deathstroke so it is something we have to name but let's get right into the celebs that have played Deathstroke and first and foremost I'm going for Manu Bennett. Manu Bennett actually comes in at 5 foot 11 and he's around 170 to 185 pounds. Bennett has played Crixus on the TV series Spartacus and he's also Slade Wilson or Deathstroke in Arrow. I personally think he does an incredible portrayal of Deathstroke in the show. He's about six inches shorter for the portrayal, but he does hold a good stature and he is 
pretty bulky for his height. So as far as the portrayal goes and the way he's able to play him, I do really like this casting. But if we go into Joe Manganiello, you're going to see that his stats actually line up quite well. Joe Manganiello, on the other hand, comes in at six foot five, two hundred and twenty-five pounds, which is exactly that portrayed in the comics of Slade Wilson's Deathstroke. So I really, really like both these castings actually. I think Joe Manganiello is just a superhuman in his own right. So I think that casting for the movies is just perfect. And I think Manu Bennett, as far as casting for the overall height and weight might be a little bit off. But I mean, we have Hugh Jackman coming in at like six foot two, six foot three, while Wolverine's at like five foot three. So I can't really complain about the height because Manu Bennett puts on such a good performance as Deathstroke and fits the character so well on screen. So no complaints there. Let's get into how I think he would train. Like I've said about Captain America and Black Panther and some of these other guys, I believe that a, a core of their workout is going to come from many different things. I think you're going to ha have to be using a program that revolves around uh, functional strength and gaining strength and gaining mass and build your way up to something like Deathstroke. And then when you have that mass, you retain it and, and you're working on your endurance and your interval training and your uh, agility and, of course, your mixed martial arts. And if you really want to carry around swords or guns or something like that, you're going to have to train for that too. But in this case, we're we're talking about the actual programming for mixed martial arts and the rest of it so we're going to probably want a schedule that revolves around our compound lifts and training heavy for those some working sets at like five rep ranges building strength and then hitting accessory work past that so maybe a three to four days lifting schedule whether it's push pull legs or chest tries back buys shoulders and legs as our four day split and work around our compound lifts like bench squat deadlift military press if you're working on a four-day split or ch uh, push-pull legs being chest, deadlift, and squats. So you, you have a couple options there and then you add in accessory work depending on your specific movements and those could be at a higher rep range at like 8 to 12 with some pyramid training going up in weight. That's what I would suggest for strength training in a three to four day split because if you go three to four days, then you're able to add in mixed martial arts, agility training, and endurance training on top of that and perfectly enough, Mixed martial arts training, especially programmed by Coach Derek, is a fully functional interval training type uh, endurance building, stamina building programming. So he builds a lot of our routines like Moon Knight, Deathstroke, and Daredevil to incorporate sparring but also incorporate these, uh, these movements that are going to be great for your overall endurance and your interval type training. So that's something that you could add in right on top of your three to four days or you could opt to add in his sparring and his mixed martial arts type training and then also add in endurance work on certain days. So depending on how much gas you have in the tank, you plug and you mix and you match with some of these days so that you're hitting mixed martial arts, the compound lifts and your uh, assistance work training on your three to four day schedule, but then also adding in whether it's three to four mile runs or building your way up to even higher uh, distance runs for an, a higher endurance training, a more steady endurance training, and not just keeping it at an interval training. But to throw you for even more of a loop, Deathstroke and guys like this, they're not just strong. They have functional strength that's also capable of calisthenics and body weight stuff. It's not just their able to rip 300 to 500 pounds off, and I'm, I'm sure in Deathstroke's case it's probably closer to a thousand because he has superhuman strength. So they're not just able to do that. They're able to jump from buildings, pull themselves up, do whatever they need to do to get the job done. So whether it's adding in accessory work that's going to highlight this calisthenic type body weight movement stuff, like the body weight book, or if it's adding in certain days that are strictly programmed for pull-ups, push-ups, dips, and other body weight type movements, hanging leg raises, L-sits, whatever it is that you need to get the job done for calisthenics and parkour type movements and gymnastics, you're, you have to program it into the schedule as well because these heroes are not just strong, they have this functional strength, they have this functional agility and endurance training that all comes together with their mixed martial arts. So you're going to have to be able to work on a schedule where you're able to intuitively train and plug and play in there. Either you're plug and playing in with the accessory work, you're adding days that are extra on top of the mixed martial arts or endurance training, or you're adding the calisthenics in elsewhere. So this is just another thing to add to the equation to get you to the superhuman level that Deathstroke and these other guys would be at. Keep in mind the schedule is flexible, so you could do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, your lifting days where you're programming in your calisthenics on top of it, and then two days, uh, Tuesday and Thursday you're doing endurance training and a little bit of mixed martial arts, and then on the weekend you hit some more mixed martial arts and do a, 
an off day recovery where you're not adding in this interval training, but your interval training on the weekend is the mixed martial arts. So it's, it's flexible. You can switch that around. Obviously, that's just a schedule off the top of my head. You can focus on one thing uh, for a short period of time where you, maybe you're power lifting and you're focusing in on gaining strength and increasing your caloric intake and then you want to go and you want to work on functional body weight movements and stuff like that or maybe you're doing mixed martial arts while you're doing your endurance training and your calisthenics and then you're programming in strength after that there's a lot of different ways to go about it but either way these specific superheroes they do it all so you're going to have to fit everything into your program if you want to be anything like them shout out again to coach Derek because I think his Deathstroke character workout fits the entire bill he programs strength he programs mixed martial arts he programs sparring he programs everything there is to have so if you guys want to check that out i'm going to be putting that in the description below as well as the other links to everything else we need i hope you guys enjoyed this routine i really want to get into the habit of uh, reminding you that it involves everything to be a superhero it's not just one thing or another it's uh flexible but it also combines everything so i hope you guys enjoy it smash the thumbs up button give me some tips tell me who you want to see next and let's do this Uh, hey guys, I love pepperoni, and if you subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and check out the links below, I'll get to eat more pepperoni, like, because I'm a puppy, and I love, <laughs> and I love, I love pepperoni, please, please, get me more pepperoni, I just need it, oh yes, pepperoni's so good, please subscribe and like,